Minecraft 1.19, here we are again, it's quite crazy how we went over an entire year with very little skulk information, yet over the past few days we've heard more and more about it. In this video we've got some awesome new gameplay of skulk in action to go over straight from the legend king the dogs. So if you're excited for this and you want to show your hype to Mojang, drop a like on this video, but with that being said let's dive right in. To it. Now everyone, as I said, we've gone for so long with very little skulk information, yet over the past few days we've heard more than ever. If you've not already, I'll put a link to my last episode of this week in Minecraft down below in the description, so you can go and check that out and get a full recap of everything we've heard over the past few weeks, but we've heard an insane amount. I recommend checking that video out at the end of this one, or even now and coming back to this one after you've watched it but basically that will keep you up to date with everything we've heard so far but with that in mind let's move on to some of this brand new information straight from the legendary developer King B Dogs over at Mojang who did tweet out this saying that's a lot of skulk and in this image we do of course get a look at skulk and how it actually spreads now there was actually quite some quite interesting questions asked below here and we do finally get some solid confirmation and information about Skulk and some of its features. For a while we were quite curious as to how Skulk would spread and if it would be similar to the Crimson Biome in Terraria which is a very similar game where it will slowly spread and devour the entire world. Someone did actually ask um, so it grows with experience and King B Dogs did reply saying from mobs um, passing and relative to their XP count. So basically what this means is the more XP a mob drops, the more Skulk will actually be created, which is incredible. So we now know if like a chicken's defeated, drops a few XP, it may do very little, but if uh, an Elder Guardian, for example, um, passes and drops a bunch of XP, then it will obviously have a bigger effect on the grow of Skulk, which is awesome. We do also know that this has to be around a Skulk Catalyst though, so do not worry, this will not affect the entire Minecraft world, but it will affect areas around Skulk. So let's take a look at King Me Dogs' image right here, so we can get a closer look. We can see that these Guardians are actually falling right the way down until they obviously um, get defeated by the ground if that's the way you want to put it, then the XP drops and it is causing the Skulk to grow. Now something really interesting we can see from this image is that Skulk grows in a very interesting way. It does not just grow in a solid sphere around where um, the middle point is, it grows in kind of a natural looking, very cool yet creepy way. We can see that it kind of spirals around and looks like it's slowly absorbing the world around it. Now mixed in with all this skulk and all of the generic blocks we can see that um, something that looks like a skulk catalyst. So my question is when the skulk grows does it also grow more skulk catalysts along with it therefore making the skulk spread even further? This has not been solidly confirmed at the minute but let's talk about what this could mean. If skulk catalysts do not naturally spread with skulk and its growth, this means that there will be a limit to how far skulk can naturally grow. However, if skulk catalysts do grow with skulk, then this does mean that um, in theory, Skulk should be able to spread infinitely until something is done about it by the player. Something awesome I also picked up is it looks like there's almost like a vine warped um, Skulk texture around the edge of the Skulk growth, basically showing the blocks it is going to devour next, which is really awesome. So I'm wondering how this will spread, what 
for how this is going to affect our current builds and the impact this is going to have on the world of Minecraft because it does look pretty insane and it does look extremely unique. I would love for King Bee Dogs if you're watching this or any of the developers um, for that matter working on Skulk I would love for them to release some kind of a time lapse basically sped up footage showing how Skulk actually spreads and how long it takes and how many mobs exactly it takes to spread it because that would be really incredible to see and would give us an idea as to how dangerous Skulk actually is if it spreads that much over like um, 100 days in Minecraft time obviously that's nothing too crazy but if it spreads like this after a few days and Skulk is definitely something to be concerned about and it's really exciting although this could be pretty annoying for some players and some people may not like it we've never really had anything like this in Minecraft as I said Terraria's got something like this with the crimson biome the way it spreads throughout the world over time so is this just another challenge that Maljanga put in there for the player to get over I do not know but as I've been saying so much on the channel over the past few days I would really love Maljang to show us how they intend for us to combat Skulk I'm wondering if you break all the Skulk catalysts will it then result in all the blocks returning to normal or do you have to go and break them one by one or do you have some kind of anti Skulk matter to fight against it I'm really not too sure but I think it would be awesome if Maljang did add something like this it's been teased that they're going to add new exclusive items to the deep dark in the chests so maybe this is something um, similar to the rainbow cannon in Terraria I forgot what it's called but I know there's something in that game that can be used to fight against the crimson biome and its spread maybe there could be something similar in Minecraft maybe like some kind of an arrow or something that can be fired at the skulk to revert it back to normal as I said as cool as this is it's awesome but I just wonder how Maljang are going to balance this in the past people have been asking for a volcano biome or something like that right and Maljang have always replied saying they do not want to add anything like that because it would cause damage that is out of the player's control but to me I cannot see any difference between that and skulk at the moment I guess there's an argument to be made that skulk will not spread unless a mob is defeated within the skulk by the player and that's definitely something we will have to wait and see and find out if that's the case but nevertheless um, what is the player meant to do about mobs um, naturally falling into the skulk and XP dropping into it and causing the skulk to spread and trolling with skulk let's not forget that what is going to stop someone from picking up a skulk catalyst planting it um, under someone's base and just putting like a simple mob farm there I can already see all of the opportunities for trolling and a bunch of things but I'm just really excited to see how Maljang will balance this and what they've got in store for the world update but if you ask me this is looking incredible I think it would be awesome if they added kind of like a skulk biome I know this is meant to be a part of the deep dark but I think it'd be awesome if they added a skulk biome where the trees, the water everything is consumed by the skulk and then we could get an idea as to the extent of the damage skulk can do in the minecraft universe but let me know your thoughts down below everyone it's been me gvr have an amazing day goodbye <laughs>